Hey, I'm Scott of Scotty's Gun Works. I thought what we might do is make another video. What I've got here is a, uh, a, a Tac Star side saddle. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it on a uh, Mossberg Model 500A. Uh, it'll hold a six extra rounds on the side of the receiver. And it's a pretty simple operation. Uh, probably don't even need to make a video to do this, but I thought, you know what, since I'm going to be putting this on there, this would be a good opportunity to make another video. And I really enjoy making these videos. None of them's really rehearsed or anything. Uh, I'll just kind of go over uh, how I'm going to uh, mount this uh, on the side of this Mossberg and what we're going to put it on. It's a Mossberg Model 500. This is a little riot shotgun. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we want to safety check it. We want to make sure we ain't got no rounds in the chamber or in the magazine tube. Everything here is empty as you can see. That's real important. Make sure you ain't got no loaded uh, guns that you're working on. But basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over here to the bench and kind of go over the procedure of putting this uh, side side alone. All right, here we are with the bench. Done safety checked it. We know it's empty. So what I've done is I took everything out of the Tac Star package here and I've laid it all out on the bench here, kind of getting myself familiar with all the hardware that comes with it. There's our six round mounting uh, mount that's going to go on there. Here's our mounting plate, which is made out of aluminum. Here's all our hardware. The first thing we'll do is we'll take and we will, uh, there's a little screw on the inside here. I get that where I try to position this where I could show everybody. But anyway, on the Mossberg Model 500A, when you ratchet it back, you can see a little screw right there. And what that screw does, it holds the uh, the uh, ejector in. So what you're going to do first thing is you're going to take that screw out. Just need a good fitting screwdriver. And as you're taking this out, just make sure that. Uh, that ejector stays flat because this is basically a flat piece of tempered steel and it's got a uh, you know an ejector bent out on it spring steel is what it is and the important thing is that you make sure that thing stays flat and I noticed in the kit here they've got a screw just like that they get down here where you can see it one of them's just a little bit longer hope y'all can see that I hadn't got a cameraman down here well, one of them's just a little bit longer so than the original. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that one. It's just a little bit longer. Set the original one right there. And you're going to replace it. It's important to remember that when you're screwing these in there that you make sure that you don't uh, cross thread them. Uh, I always like to start them in finger tight and then go ahead and snug them down with the screwdriver. And another thing you'll want to kind of keep in mind is this is an aluminum receiver, uh, so it wouldn't take a whole lot to strip that out. So when you go to put that in there, just torque it down, just you know, moderately torque it down. Nothing real tight. Just want to be sure you don't get it so tight that you strip out that hole. That's about right right there. Now what you've got is you've got a little lug sticking out there on the side there. And that's what this, the mounting plate's going to mount to. The next step, what you do is you take and take you something and knock this pin out right here on the side of the uh, trigger plate. Just push it right out. Then they've got a screw here and a washer. It comes with this kit. Put the washer on the screw. And from the uh, right side, just replace that pin with that screw. Now you've got two lugs sticking out here. Just basically take the mounting plate. Comes with an Allen wrench. And just snug that down. That's where the uh, pin was that I replaced for the trigger plate. Just snug that down. Making sure that the, uh, the lug on the side of the receiver is protruding through the little hole there. You got two of them there, and that right there is the one that's going to fit on this Mossberg Model 500. And then it comes with a little nut here. And you just want to basically thread it onto the uh, lug sticking out, which is the screw that's a little bit longer than the factory ejector screw. 
Just make sure you don't cross thread down. Just get that started real good. Got a little pair of needle lows here. I'm just going to snug it down. It'll take a lot of torque for that. That's snug down real good. And now we've done uh, succeeded in mounting our mounting plate, which is going to hold the saddle itself, which is made out of plastic or polymer. And basically what it does is it just mounts onto this plate right here. And we've got uh, six Allen Hitch screws here. Comes with its own little Allen wrench. And it's just all common sense. Just line everything up. Don't tighten them up real tight because this is plastic. You're not going to crack it or anything. But what happens is, is if you get it too tight, it's going to flare it out right there at that hole on each one of them, which... Probably ain't gonna hurt it, but it wouldn't look it wouldn't look as neat. And you just want to make sure that you don't uh, strip anything out. I don't believe you have to worry about stripping this out. I think the plastic would give before it's stripped out. But just want to make sure you don't cross thread them. Want to make sure everything goes in straight. Some pretty tough stuff right there. And there it is, mounted on there. It's really nice. What I'll do is I'll put some shells in it and we'll kind of show you what the after uh, product looks like. Alright folks, here is the finished product right here. Got six rounds installed in the side saddle. Everybody's seen how easy that was to install. Really looks good on the shotgun. If you're in law enforcement or you just have a, a good home defense weapon you want to add some extra rounds to that would be easy to get a hold of if you need them. Well, I'd say that right there is probably a really good product for you. And we installed this on the Mossberg Model 500A. Uh, really good shotgun. I'm really pleased with it. Uh, installed really easy. Uh, and again, that's the Tax Star. Made in the USA. I purchased this in here from Brian Ailes. They sell a lot of really good products. And if you have any work or anything like that that you need done, well, just give me a call. Area code 615-746-9668. We'll discuss the, uh, the situation that you might have there that you need work done on. And um, if I don't pick up, just leave me a message and I'll call you back. And as usual, I appreciate everybody watching these videos.